All new at two, they say you shouldn't meet your heroes, but in this case, it may have helped turn a young boy's life around. You looked at him and you said, well, how are your grades? And honestly, he kind of just looked back because he has struggled. So he put his head down and he worked. He made straight A's for the entire school year. That mom's sixth grade son challenged by a Duke football player after telling him he wanted to be just like him when he got older. And now he's gone from C student with unremarkable grades to honor roll member. How a simple message from his idol inspired the boy to tackle his studies the same way he tackles his opponents on the gridiron. Welcome back as America Reports rolls into a second hour. I'm John Roberts in Washington. What an inspiring story. I love a good story with a happy ending. I'm Sandra Smith in New York. This very special conversation coming up as the student athlete, the sixth grader, and his mother all join us live coming up. But we'll start things off for the entire school year after a little motivation from his hero, rising sixth grader Caden Owens, his mother, and Duke football player Anthony Nelson are here to share their viral story next. I just have to say thank you because what you told him really stuck. The encounter may have turned his life around. Back in September, Caden Owens got to meet Duke football player Anthony Nelson after a game. He said he wants to be just like him when he grows up. Nelson said that means getting good grades. Caden took that challenge head on and his mom, Miranda, says when graduation day came this spring, he made the honor roll. All three of them are with us now to talk about the inspiring story. Well, Caden, that is amazing. Thanks to all three of you for joining us. An incredible story. Caden, what did it feel like to finally get those good grades? It felt amazing to, because I was trying so hard in third grade and I didn't have the best of the grades and I finally got good grades. Mom, I bet you're proud. He is super proud. Oh, that is an amazing story. And Anthony Nelson, kudos to you for inspiring this young boy. I'm sure you feel pretty good about that. Yes, ma'am. I mean, it's just inspiring to see Caden, like, put his head down and really work towards his goal and finally achieve that. So I'm really proud of you for that. And also, shout out to Ms. Owens for the kind message. Oh, that is amazing. Caden, can you kind of give us a play-by-play? -play? What exactly happened when you met Anthony that inspired you? So first, um, we kind of talked and I said, I want to be just like you. And he said, how are your grades? And my grades weren't that good. So I kind of didn't say anything. So I tried really hard and got good grades. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. And mom, he, he comes home and he's on the report. He's on the honor roll now. I suppose you can start yes. to, you can start to, to look at colleges like Duke with grades like that, Miranda. Right. <laughs> yeah, we were um, really shocked because we knew he was an average student. There's nothing wrong with that. So we were like, just work as hard as you can. And after meeting Nelson, he's Anthony Nelson, he came home and he said, Mom, I really want to try harder and get better grades. So he would go to practice. He practiced three days a week, has a private trainer one day a week, and then plays on Saturdays. And after every single practice, he'd come home, he'd study, he'd do his homework, study on the weekends. If he had anything that was missing, he would ask his teachers, what can I do to get better? And he just kept those grades up, so I'm super proud of him for that. Anthony, why is it important for you to inspire young kids? Anthony, are you still with us? Sorry, I can't, I can't That's hear okay. You. Anthony, I was just asking you, you inspired Caden. I know it's sort of your mission to inspire young kids. Why is that so important to you? Okay, uh, Caden, I'll get back to you while we get Anthony back. Caden, he obviously inspired you. Are you a Duke fan by any chance? Were you before? Are you now? <laughs> I was before. Good for you. And so you're going to keep on cheering, I would assume. Mom, what are, what are your big plans for Caden? I mean, he's shown that he can, he can, he can go from, from C student to honor roll. I mean, he's capable of anything. Yeah, just whatever he wants to do with his future. He's told us that his only future is football. That's all he wants to do. So we'll just push for him to do exactly what, that wants, what he wants to do. And if that's playing football at Duke University, then that's what he's going to do.
Oh, that is so fun. I think we've got Anthony back. Anthony, uh, we, you've obviously inspired this young man and done wonderful things for him. Why is this such a big part of your mission? Why do you want to help young people? I mean, watching Caden get good grades and like be inspired by something that I did really makes me, I guess, motivated to get up every single day and put my best foot forward uh, to be the best person I can be. Because if I can inspire somebody to do well, like it really touched me because I had great role models when I was younger and they helped me get to the place I am today. So I think it's really important for everyone to pay it forward to the next generation. That is absolutely amazing. I mean, what a what a collaboration. What a great group effort uh, to help young Caden. Mom, you got involved, and it all turned out to be a beautiful story. And we'll, we'll keep watching you, Caden. Hang in there. And uh, you're going to go off and do great things. And Anthony, thanks for being his inspiration. We need more of that in the world. Good stuff. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Beautiful story. And kudos to the mom, you know, for getting involved and making that sort of that magic happen, John.